going to pieces, ain't it? Yep. So I don't know how long somebody's done got up in there and put some supports uh -huh. up underneath the the corner. Yep. But it's in rough shape. So what we've well, been doing? I knew doing... It was because my uncle, like I said, that uh, he drank an awful lot. I mean, he sat there and drank every day there the last year or so. I mean, he drank before that, but he really got bad dirt to last. And uh, that's all he wanted to do. Yeah, that's all he wanted to do, just sit on that bench there and drink. Right. And uh, we come down here one time, he had an MT John Deere tractor, a little tricycle one. And he got after me and my brother about coming down here getting it started. It'd been a while since it'd been started. He was sitting out there at that maple, right back to that maple tree. So we come down here that day, and this is no lie, this is a fact. We come out here, we had to jump it, and got the thing started, and it run, we run around in a circle right there and parked it back in the same place where he had it. And when we left him here, he was crawling up them steps to go in the highest. He was crawling, he wasn't walking. And he, my brother said, look at Lars, let's get the hell out of here. He said, we don't want to talk to him very much. So <laughs> we left. It went on about three or four days, and he told my other uncle, the one that was living up with my granddad, he said, them boys ain't never come down here and said, and started my tractor yet. <laughs> and my uncle said, well, hell, they down there and started that and left. Said, you didn't know anything about it. He didn't even remember. <laughs> but I'll tell you something else that's kind of funny, too. My mother come down here one time, and I, I don't remember this. I was just a couple years old. Yeah. He come up the road right here, and she forgot to lift the car in neutral. It run down over that hill right down on that creek. Oh, and, my and my granddad, goodness. he got the horses out and brought, took the horses and pulled the car back up over the bank with the horses. Really? <laughs> That's a story right there. <clears throat> so this hadn't changed much right here other than a bunch of trees growing in. Like we were wondering how old this tree was, but that's not in that picture that you have. I don't know about that thing. I, as well as I can remember, it was in the corner of the fence right here. There right. definitely was a fence right here. Yeah, it was right up through here, right where you're standing, right up through there. Oh, so the fence came up this way. Yeah, and went across right below that tree and below that other big tree down there. Right. Oh, so that's right in the corner. Uh -huh. That makes sense. That's the corner right there at that tree. Stuff too. Dude, I tried to get that open. You gotta kind of shove that bottom. I don't know if it's jammed up on something. Here. I got it. I got it. Oh, 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 too much trouble. You know what? Good. No, we were That's trying it. to we get, gotta it. get it open anyway. But yeah, there you go. Rock it. Here, kick that rock, see if you can get it under there. Yeah, we tried to get it open earlier. It's been open, we've been in there. I don't know, something right there. Huh? Like something fell and it's holding it. We're moving right there, right at the bottom. I can't reach the top of it. Right there we go. That's cool. What is it? Oh, electric. <laughs> electric cord sticking out there. What's it? It used to slide. See, you think something fell down behind it. Yeah. She ain't moving. It's all right. I ain't got to see you now. We were curious. Well, we were standing uh, out here one Sunday afternoon, and the kid was up here, you know, they flew in here with an airplane. Well, let me, let me get that hammer. I think if I lift the bottom of it up. Hammer's right. Yeah, right here. So, who had an airplane? These air, uh, kid was here in them houses up in yellow. Yeah. They flew in here in a little airplane. Now, this is the truth. And uh, we were standing out here one Sunday evening, and... Matthew Kibber's the one that run these planes all the time. Right? Yeah. And Paul, he come down here and decided he was gonna fly. He never flew before. Anyway, not this creek here, we're on up there out of the fence up there. What but just about yeah. two or three months after that, here he come in with a big twin engine plane. Landed that up there. But you know what these are doing? In the fields, uh, landing. You know what these are doing? He's hauling moonshine back to Baltimore in that airplane. Ah. Yeah, the, their old man was doing the moonshine and they were doing the hauling. So there was a lot of liquor being made around these parts. Oh, yeah. There's some around here now. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Some told 
Dude, kick oh. that thing in. Yeah, it seems like if you pried it up, it should slide. Now right. you got, got Eddie working. Can you pick it up? Yeah, it's kind of jammed in there. You can take that with you. That's on the house. Back in that corner back there is where it's at. In the back corner? Yep, back in here. So, so it's they like used a, to heat up? Like a stone thing in there where you... Uh, I tell you what we did find on the back side of this. What's that? These old metal... These things are so heavy. Knows some stuff, don't he? Yup. Just stubborn. And he <laughs> just plain stubborn. Yeah, he knows some stuff. <laughs> Look at it's, so he turned it into his shop. I don't see anything back in that corner. He must have took it out there, right? But he used to be kind of weird. So we found stuff. we found all these stones. There's like piles of these old stones, and they had to be from like chimney. Uh huh. And they're using them for like. A fire pit, but it very well could have been. There's some that have uh, masonry. Uh -huh. So we're trying to figure out what stones maybe went with the old foundation. What stones? This they talk about. There was a monster four foot deep fireplace in the middle of the house. It was. Yeah, I can remember that right here, along here, back to the other side of where you went down into this old. Uh, yeah. Right. So you went in this house when it was standing? Yeah. Right. Yeah, I was in one standing. Like, like I said, just a kid now. I wasn't very old. Right. <coughs> but you remember this being here. Oh yeah. The old logs, great big logs in it. Yeah. All these big logs in the in this house. Right. And that's what the write up, all we have is a uh, written description uh -huh. of the house. But it's very detailed. It talks about a trap door. Yeah, it was. And the trap door went down into the fort cellar. Yeah, that's down in here. I'd cut that thing out of there. We are. One of these mini moons. You got, got, a, uh, got a reasonable tree guy? We need a reasonable tree guy. Because this has got to be topped out. Yeah. I don't know if them Dangus boys would be interested in it or not. Ricky Dangus? Yeah, I don't know that name. You don't want to get Pud Goken there. Boy, he's expensive. I mean, really expensive. But. And we got a guy, like I said, what's, uh... What's one of them things? Goat nail. There's no end to the uh, garbage. Oh, that's a hanging pot. That's a flower pot there's the rest yeah, of it please. yeah anyway yeah i've been down in the old place they used to keep canned stuff down in there yeah there. i mean it's cool down there uh -huh. underground they used to keep canned stuff down in there and then there's still the hole comes out this side and this side too it's like a window oh well, no it doesn't it doesn't it come out it was right here though it is right there yeah and then 
the boy that lived here swore it was a tunnel and he tried to jackhammer his way out from down there. He ain't gonna put one no tunnel. Either. No. He would come they out. Said he would come out. There was a spring, out. though, in the corner here. I don't remember down the in there. spring in there. It might have been, but I don't remember that. Right. Yeah. yeah but you remember the big old fireplace in here. Yeah, it yeah. faced this way. Yeah. It faced that towards the side over yeah. there. Yeah, and it's supposedly like four foot deep, yeah. like a monster. Pretty good. I mean, right high, too. Yeah. It had a big old piece of, like a log over top of it, you know, where it was laid in it. Yeah. I remember that. <clears throat> well, that well, sure is two neat. two-story tall. That sure is neat yeah. that you uh, remember that. Two stories. Yeah, it was two stories tall. So then it would have been disassembled by your grandfather? No, my uncle. Oh, your my uncle. My daddy's brother. Your daddy. He took it all down and to build a new happen? house on this foundation. Huh? When did that happen? About... Oh Lord, I don't know. Well, 47, 57. I'd say probably around 65 or 6 long or something. But I was about 15, 16 years old when he done all this. So that's about the time about they, built, time they that built that garage. He built that for then. I remember when he built that. It that of course, that's been there right a while. He built that to keep his truck and everything in. Yeah. Well, I'm sure glad he did because we're getting good use out of that one still. <laughs> and then the other one over there, that's when my uncle, he put that in up. My other uncle, his brother, he stayed down here with him for a long time. He never was married. If he'd lived two more months, he'd have been 101. That's the one I showed you, had that fishing pole standing there. Yeah. But anyway, he, he's the one built that in over there to keep his tractor and stuff in. The little one. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's why it opens up like that. Uh-huh. Yeah, he, he bought up. That little A farm all tractor. Later on, he trade that on, got him a H. And he upset the H, burnt that up. So, <laughs> far back as you can remember, there was a shed there. Mm -hmm. It didn't have no door on it. Now it was just a just a shed out here where he could pull that old tractor in there. Yep. I mean, a tractor truck. But then that building, the the garage, that was there already. Uh huh. Because we saw there's like, uh, there's no pictures, but there's like this engraving uh -huh. that shows this house, like from that view, looking this way. So it shows this guy, and there's a building sitting to the front. Even in that old, it's like a, like a, a sketch. Yeah, this wasn't, well, all the stuff we hear wasn't in here. This is all grown up since I remember it. All this stuff. Yeah, all of it wrote up. It wasn't, right. it wasn't near like this years ago. Right. No. This is all open. You can sit here and see all the river and everything down here, except for a few trees on the river bank. But it's really wrote up to the right. And what about all the the evergreen up in there? there was none of that up there. That was a field. Yeah, it's all open. Dude, that was those pictures of the cows. You right. Can see the hills? There's no trees. So that was like cow pasture up on there. Mm -hmm. it's all it's all there just wide open. And it was all maintained. Yeah, it was. My uncle, he'd go around any cedars and stuff like that. He'd cut them. He went down, you know, grow up like this. Right. Right. You don't want it to be tall enough to shade a grave. Uh, he's, yeah, well, I don't know. They said to replant them. That's the thing. Uh, okay. Okay. And they're growing yeah. around, but you don't want to replant one of them. <laughs> Gotcha. If they grow in in the wild, you're probably okay. Right. <laughs> if you didn't want to replant one of them. Yeah, we're going to have to get some tree work. This is uh, obviously not doing us any good. That one's starting to push the foundation out. But I'll probably go on and cut these because uh, they're dangerous. Yeah. So I'll probably go ahead and just cut those off, knowing from you that uh, those were put in later. There's never going to be a structure on here now. You mean the cinder block? The, yeah, the lag bolts. Oh, yeah, they was put in here. I'd hate for somebody to fall on one of those. or. Yeah, they was put in here because he was going to put him a plate down on here to build him a new house on. And that's yep. as far as he ever got with them uh, anchor bolts. Right. He put the cinder blocks in. Uh-huh. For vents, for the basement. Yep. Anyway. That was as far as he got. See, his wife... 
and her and she did this other farm. She was the only child up here, 200 some acres and that. And when he died, she got this too, it was 538 and this one. And she sold this one for Fleming for a million. Right. I read that. Huh? Or maybe you told me that, the million know, dollars. Yeah. At the cookout, you told me that. But this up here kind of busted up. I think some of the vile boys bought part of that. You know? Well, I'm going to get out of y'all's hair. I'm keeping y'all from doing anything. Well, thank you for coming by. No problem. Yeah, thank you, Eddie. Like I say, when you get to home, we'll, uh, we'll be in touch. Get all organized and everything. I'll uh, check it out. That's cool. Thank you for the stories. Thank you for the pictures. No problem. I got some more pictures somewhere that I'll have to bring if I can find them, but I don't know what I did with them. All right. Well, if you come across them, remember what I said. We're going to try to incorporate some of the history. Uh -huh. So if we do, you know, maybe one of the cabins will be the Strickler history. Well, you know? let me tell you. I don't know if you heard this or not, but the original Strickler Bible came over here on one of the three ships that came over from England. Did you know that? No. Okay. It was written in German. The caverns has got it now. One of the uh, modest girls married the stricter boy, and the modest got control of this Bible. Yeah. And anyway, then the modest sold the Bible to Lure Caverns. It's on exhibition up there now. Ah. And it's leather bound, tied with leather, but they won't let you open it. All right. Only kind of turn it up. So we've uh, the guy who I guess owns the caverns. A friend of his reached out to me, and said that we should touch base with him. That he's. I guess rebuild a lot of buildings on the property over there right. and created like a, like we were looking for some square nails and uh -huh. stuff for repairing buildings properly. Right. And they said we should reach out to them that they got a lot of experience uh, and are local here doing that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So well, anyway, I don't know if you, how close you are to him. I'm not. Harry just, Graves is one. Yes, that's his name. Uh -huh. Anyway. He might, get, he might let you in there just to look at it because right. you're in the, in the neighborhood. Yeah. But like I say, it's the original one. It, I can't remember which one of the ships it was that came over. You remember three come over here with the Mayflower and... Yeah, the Pinta and the Santa Maria. Yeah, Santa Maria and, and the Mayflower. Yep. And the anyway, Nina, the Pinta, and the Santa Maria. I don't know. Something like that. Yeah. The yeah. Mayflower, yeah. But anyway, that Bible was on one of them ships. Wow. But anyway, like and that's, I said, and that's your history the is on display up there. Right, it's the original. It's a German Bible. It's what it is. It's written in German. That's pretty cool. Huh? That's pretty cool. But anyway, if you ever get a chance to talk to her, you might let him look at, look at it. All right. So he is the guy to uh, try to chat with. Yeah, he is. So you all have a good afternoon. Thank you, Eddie. You know your way out of here, don't you? Yeah, I think I can find it now. All <laughs> no, right. <laughs> Well, there you have it, guys. You don't always get that history. That is uh, someone who lived in this house back when he was seven years old, remembers the original 1765 Ford home when it was still standing. The inside, he was actually inside of the house when it was still standing. <coughs> His uncle is the one who it apart it was probably it was used for uh, storage uh, took it apart unfortunately uh, but I guess was gonna rebuild a house was the point on that foundation and that just never happened so interesting history living history so that's uh, very neat. Very excited to have Eddie come out and spend some time with us today. Hopefully we'll have him come back out again uh, when we get the house cleaned out and we can walk through the house and uh, probably get some more stories. He seems to have a bunch of stories.